this lecture I will be showing you how to perform some basic arithmetic operations with CLGO code. The first thing we do is create a new C bot called LEN2. On CLGO we can do all basic arithmetic operations like add, subtract, multiply, divide and also modulus which is represented by the percentage symbol. In this lecture, we will calculate the average closing price for the last candle. First, we declare the variable that will hold the average. And this variable will be of type double because our price, uh, our price average is a decimal number. Our code will be placed in the onStart because I want the bot to only run when the C bot is placed on the chart. I don't want it to run repeatedly on every tick or run when the bot is removed. To get our close values of previous 5 candles, we will reference the close prices using the market series interface. We will be addressing each candle as a value in the close prices array and previous candle will be candle 1. The one before that will be candle 2 and so on. We will get all 5 prices, add them up and divide them by 5 which will give us the average. The 5 prices to be added <coughs> will be enclosed in a bracket so that the addition operation will be done first. Since C algo order of operations is similar to board mass, if we do not enclose all addition operations in a bracket, the division will be done before the addition and we don't want that. But when we place all addition in brackets, addition will be done before the division. To get the average close of the last 5 candles, we want to sum up 5 close prices and divide them by 5. First, we reference the close prices of the candles using market series. If we wanted open prices, we can replace close with open. And if we want high, we can replace close with high. Same can be done for low. The market series interface is the default CIAGO method for getting candle prices like open, high, low and close price values. It's in the reference area. You will see an explanation for the market series interface. If you also scroll down on the explanation, you will see how the various ways that the interface can be applied. There are two ways you can reference close prices. You can say market series dot close dot last and one in brackets, like I did above, or you can say market series dot close with one in square brackets. Now, if we write the two methods in a print statement to check the two values in our CBOT log, we will see two different prices. Okay, we have a small error. Let's fix that. Oh, the low should be closed. Sorry about that. Please correct these errors on your end so the CBOT can run. Going over to our chart, let's examine our results. When you say close.last with one in bracket, you are referencing the most recently closed candle, which is the previous candle. The current candle is referred to as candle 0, previous is 1, the next after that is 2, and if you keep going back, you count backwards till you get to the oldest candle on your chart. If I place a line at the top of my candle, where the close price would be, since it is a bullish candle, I will not see the exact close price on my line, but I will see a price very close to that price. Here on the line value, you can see 144.509. Now, when I run line 2 to print the close.last one and the close one, you will see that last one is the closest to the previous candle price and close one 
is very far from the price that we have on the previous candle close. The reason for this difference is that when you say close one, the bot will start its count from the oldest candle on the chart. It will call that candle candle zero. It won't call the current candle candle zero. It will go back and call the very first candle on the chart, the oldest candle candle zero. Now, if we move back on our chart and zoom that area at the start of the chart, the last, the first will be zero the second one, the third two, and so on, when you work with close one. Now let's move our horizontal line to the bottom of candle one to get a range of what the close price would be. After placing the horizontal line, you will notice that the close price is around 224.005, which is very close to our close one value in CBOT log. So when calling candles from start of chart, you can simply say close. But when you want recent candles, you have to say close.last. Now we've seen the difference between close one and close.last one. Also note that one has square brackets and the other has curvy brackets. The close one has square brackets and the close.last one has curvy brackets. For clarity, let's comment the difference to the code. You can also add the comment on your end so you remember what the two different referencing methods stand for. Now let's print our average to the CBOT log using the print function and placing average variable as its only output. When we build the average and run on our chart, you will see the average of the last five candles printed to the CBOT log. So if we zoom and manually collect the close prices of the last 5 candles, sum them up and divide by 5, we will get a value close to 141.9112. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video.